Hi, this is the Age of Asparagus, here to show you how to disable the touch sensitivity of your Wacom tablet in Linux Mint. I'm using a Wacom Intuos 5 Touch, and I find that the touch sensitivity often gets triggered accidentally when I'm trying to use the tablet. If you don't utilize the touch sensitivity of your tablet, you may want to turn it off to prevent this. Unfortunately, we can't do this directly in the graphics tablet settings available to us in Linux Mint. So we'll be venturing into the terminal and even writing a little script that will run when your computer starts to ensure that the new settings don't disappear when we restart the computer. This is directed at complete beginners to Linux, so I'll be walking you through everything. Let's start the terminal by hitting the terminal icon on the panel at the bottom here. We're going to use a little program called XSet Wacom, which will allow us to manually do almost anything we want to customize our tablet's behavior. First, we can get a list of Wacom devices by typing XSet Wacom space dash dash list space devices. This will give us a list of currently detected Wacom devices. You'll notice that each of your tablet's inputs is listed as its own device. Even though this is showing five devices, they're all from the single Intuos 5 tablet that I have plugged in. If your tablet is touch sensitive, you should see a device with the type touch. Now, just as a test, I'm going to see if my touch is working. Here, I put my finger on the tablet and I'm circling it around. Yep. To turn it off, we can use this command. So we'll use X set Wacom and we're going to tell it to set. Next we need to tell it which device we want to set. So I'm going to choose this device here. There's a neat shortcut in Linux, which we don't have in Windows, where I can highlight some text and by highlighting the text it's automatically copied to a clipboard which I can paste by just hitting my middle mouse button. Perfect. Now I need to put this in quotes. Good. So I'm going to use the XSet Wacom program to set this device here and what do I want to do there? I want to set the touch and I want to turn it off. So I'm going to hit enter and run that and now I'm going to put my finger on the tablet and my cursor is not moving at all. Okay, it worked. And if I want to turn it back on again I can just run that same command and change the end to on. Now if you're new to the terminal, you can just hit the up arrow and it will give you your last command you entered. So I'm going to change off to on, hit enter, OK, to on, hit enter, and yep, now I'm in control again. Note, however, that touch sensitivity will turn back on by default when you log back into the computer. So if we want to always have our touch sensitivity off, we need to tell the computer to run this command every time we log in. To do this, we're going to open a text editor. So hit the Windows or Super key, and you can type text editor. To make the computer recognize this document we're creating here as a script, we have to put something on the first line that tells the computer how it's supposed to read the file. So we're going to start by typing the number sign or hash, an exclamation mark, a slash bin slash sh. I discovered yesterday that in Linux the exclamation mark here as, is referred to as bang. So these first two characters are called hash bang and sometimes even shortened to just shebang. I've always found the name exclamation point to be somewhat burdensome, so I think I might just start calling it bang all the time. Okay, so the slash bin slash sh is actually telling your computer that this is a shell script, and it needs to go looking in your roots bin folder to find the sh file that will know what to do with your script. Next, we're going to paste in that command line that we already tested and we know that it works. 
So from the terminal, highlight our command, and in the text editor, I'm going to hit enter on a new line, and middle click to paste it. That's it. That's all we need for the script. Note that you can add to this file later if you want to add more customizations. I'll post a link on the screen to Xset Wacom's documentation where it outlines all sorts of things you can customize. Now we're going to save it, make it, make it executable, and finally tell our computer to run it when we log in. So hit the Save button. Go to your home directory, which ha should have a symbol of a house. And if you don't already have a bin directory here, then go click the Create Folder button and type bin. This is going to be a folder where you can save executable scripts and uh, other files like that. I hit enter. Now I'm inside my home directory in the bin folder and I'm going to give this script the name xsetwacom.sh.sh for shell script. Hit save. Now if you use the same text editor I did, uh, gedit, you should notice that by saving the file with a .sh extension, the text editor now recognizes your code and formats it with some pretty colors. Okay, close the text editor. Let's just double check that we did that right. So open your home folder by clicking the folder icon at the bottom. I see the bin folder, that's good, and inside bin we have our script. Perfect. Now to make this an executable script, we need to right click on our script and choose properties. And from here we're going to go up to the permissions tab and we're going to tick this execute box to uh, allow executing this file as a program. There we go. Finally, open your startup applications. Hit the Windows key and type startup. You should have this startup applications option. And here we're going to add our script to run when you log in. So hit add and for a name, let's name this Wacom Tablet Initialization Settings. Under Command, we are going to browse to our script. In this bin folder, there's my script, xsetwacom.sh, and hit Add, and here it should appear here, Wacom Tablet Initialization Settings. Now, when you start your computer, this script will run automatically and your customizations will be set. Note that this will only work if you have a tablet already plugged in before you log on. At the login screen, you'll notice that you can actually move your cursor by touch using the tablet. But after you log in, it'll cause your script to run and the touch will turn off. If you plug your tablet in after you've logged in, then the default settings will take over and your customizations won't apply. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful.